Do we know what we're doing here? Yep. Okay. That's a loaded question. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Best. Hey guys. Hey guys. Thanks Sorry for, for the, uh, clicking on our video. Yeah. Thanks for clicking on another one. Sorry for the long pause in between videos, but uh, it's just been, it's been a long like four or five days and we sort of started meeting up with a few people who were important to us. We met up with Lanessa, one of our patrons one day and had dinner with her, which was awesome. And then yep. the following day we, we drove like 200 miles and met up with an old great friend of mine, Matthew and his whole family and spent the day with them. And then we drove like another 200 miles, stopped somewhere for a night or two. Two full days of driving that were very uneventful, stayed at a truck stop one of the nights. Yeah, it ended up being actually like four kind of long days of driving when it was all said and done. But all that to be said, sorry if we've been kind of MIA. We've got lots of emails to respond to. Glad he's pagan. You're one of them. Stuff to do. Loose ends to tie up. I haven't had service for a lot of that time, too. Yeah. Today, we wanted to run you guys through our nightly routine. Yes. So, we're going to jump back to yesterday and, uh, and get into last night and what we did... Right when we arrived at this spot, we're just so you guys know where we are right now. We're in the middle of the woods somewhere, I don't know, question mark, in the middle of Oregon. Dina? The way I take care of the kids, I think, concerns... Oh, where'd Tabby go? Exactly. Huh. I think I've just lost both the cats, baby. You did! Go find <laughs> Tabby! Baby, look at her, look at her, look at her! Oh, there she goes. <laughs> okay. Yep. That's what she does. That's her trick. And she dismounts. You want to do another one? That's a stump. She's presenting herself like an offering to a nearby large bird. Tabby. Your ignorance is just so charming. And it's a beautiful spot, but we didn't expect it to be as cold as it is. Yeah. That, uh, was a, that was a huge... Well, it actually wasn't that much of a bummer because looking for an opportunity to use the wood stove past winter, like when it's dead in the winter, when it's, I'm sorry, when it's in the dead of winter, you don't really want to use the wood stove because I used it like all day, every day. Mm -hmm. I probably lit like 300 fires in this stinking thing. Yeah. But having not used it in like a month, it was, was really kind of nice. Sweet treat. It yeah, was kind of nice. The first thing I had back. to do um, was cut the wood. Mm -hmm. So my love here is preparing our firewood for the night we still have we had tons of wood left over we weren't really sure how we were going to use it or when we were going to use it but sure enough come to oregon and it feels like smack dab in the middle of winter again go outside hey tavi there's your food ow there's your food Dusty. <clears throat> Alrighty. Okay, do you need some kindling? I was thinking about cutting this up a little bit since it's alive. Is that our kindling for the evening? The thing I'm going to do is cut some chips out of it. Good kindling. Good, great kindling. Other than us, there's like no one, no one here. Feels like we're t absolutely out in the middle of nowhere. Yet we're relatively close to the highway. It's pretty sweet. This is like, it's funny because this is like the type of BLM land we always hoped for in Colorado. Yeah. You got the fire started that quickly? Yeah, babe. When it's this, good. when you used to first start be making our fires, <laughs> it would know. take like... I would get so frustrated, especially if I didn't have any um, fire starters. It would take forever. But now, that took you like five minutes. Yeah, it's going. Yeah. That really even wasn't that bad, honestly. But see, because we've been traveling so much, this bus has turned into an absolute pigsty. We've been like not really cleaning, just just doing dishes to get by while we've been hopping from spot to spot. So we had to clean this bad boy. We never want to clean uh, before I cut wood because we always bring the wood in that I cut and it gets like sawdust and 
chunks of wood all over the place. So really we wanted to get here and clean first thing, but there's kind of an, an odd step that we have to take before we can really get cleaning. So, um, after my love drove all day long, we drove like 250 miles, maybe a little bit more than that yesterday. You offered to make me dinner because a lot of you guys have been asking how Chad makes his potato and veggie, veggie dinner. First thing you got to do, boil some water. Wash your potatoes. So now I like to um, cut them into quarters. So the trick to the super crispy potatoes that are extra delicious as Zayna loves is to heat up a cast iron skillet at the same time you're boiling your potatoes and you only boil your potatoes for like, I think I do about four minutes and that just softens them a little bit. And then we're gonna toss them in some olive oil, just a little bit. And then when you put them on the skillet that's already nice and hot, the cast iron skillet, they get like this real nice kind of quick sear and they are super delicious. Make sure you don't over boil your potatoes because that's what always happens to me. Or over oil your skillet or... Just make everything perfect and yeah, it'll be good. Just make it all perfect and exactly. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> the cast iron is nice and hot. Oh, and of course we're forgetting something key, crucial. Garlic. Babe. Garlic, hello? I don't know, I forget about the garlic. Garlic? Crazy. Hello? So these, um, I don't know, I cook them for like seven minutes and then I check. Sometimes you want to check a little bit before that. But also, depending on what other veg you're going to use, um, now might be a good time to throw on some of your heartier vegetables. So I'm going to do some sauteed onions. So I'm going to make a little sauteed onion area right here. Mm -hmm. And I like to cut a, an onion into big chunks like this and then just throw it on there and kind of get a nice char on both sides and then pull it apart and saute it like that. It's delicious. Also, this is when you want to throw your garlic in. You just throw it all in there with the tates, mixed in there. So while my love is over here finishing dinner, we're gonna be eating what, in like five, 10 minutes? Yep. Fantastic. I'm just sitting in bed, or I was just sitting in bed, but I moved over here for better lighting, watching Friends. We watch Friends pretty much every day. It's like our warm, cozy, comfort blanket. Both of us have been watching this show for years. Uh, years. Years and years. We only watched it when it was on the air. When it was on TV. And yeah. I was talking, thinking about that yesterday. I don't know if I did. I don't think so. Because it came out in... The late 90s and you were in your early years. early years of life <laughs> um so yeah we love friends and we have only season four and season 10 like the actual dvds that we can watch in the blu-ray when we're off grid um sounds pretty great having a blu-ray and a flat screen while we're off grid but we need to get the whole set because we really only watched season four season 10 obviously sucks because it's the end of the whole show who wants to see that, who wants to see that? It's no. their friends forever yeah they do we're using vegan butter as our <laughs> sauce. It's so good. It when you good. mix it in there, it just it's just so good. It's so delicious. So Can you show gonna... them the kind of butter we're using? Yeah, this is the Smart Balance. Yep. It's really good. It tastes it's just good. like butter, honestly. It really does. Um, we are sharing a bowl because we're in like mega water saving mode and just sharing. <laughs> sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. And saves water. Because of the dishes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there is kind of a catch to why I cooked dinner and you'll see me cooking dinner a lot more and you'll find out in just a second um, because really the next thing that we had to do was dishes. Mm -hmm. We just started a new tradition on the bus, I guess. Whoever cooks doesn't do dishes. So Zayna's going to do some dishes and uh, you guys are going to see me start to cook a lot more on the bus. Uh, she's just also better at doing dishes. It, I really am. That that might sound weird, but I really am. I like know how to use the least amount of water and get that scrub on. It's an art on the bus it's when you only have five gallons to work with and only a five gallon to empty dirty water tank too. I'm even working right now on pulling it back a little so that we're doing less than five gallons a day for everything. I want to do, my goal is like three and a half That'd gallons That'd be amazing. That'd be awesome. Pew. All right. 
And I'm gonna make some tea before we go to bed. So there's one creature on the bus who likes the wood stove more than we do. It's true. I'll give you one hint. <laughs> she is always sitting right She burns by the her wood tail stove. all winter. She's burnt her little eye whiskers off because she hangs out like right off the ledge. You're gonna concern people just a little bit. <laughs> Not like cray cray yeah. burnt off. No, just a little bit. I could just, just see people being like, Can you let your cat? Just a little bit. Oh my gosh, Tavi, how cute are you? <laughs> <laughs> Play with fire. Gonna get burnt. Usually every night we kind of decide, like, are we going to watch an episode of Planet Earth? Are we just going to binge watch Friends again? Or are we going to actually choose a movie to watch? So last night we actually decided to watch Lord of the Rings, the second one. What's it called? Uh, the Twin Towers. Twin Towers. Um, so I have Twin Towers? No, that's not right. That's very 9-11-esque. <laughs> Two towers. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's it. Great. Twin Towers. Um, Lock up a bridge is good. Hey, um, they really... <laughs> <laughs> so we're just... Eating some dessert. Apple Jacks. And watching Lord of the Rings. So it's probably gonna. Yeah. But yeah, I haven't actually seen any of the Lord of the Ring trilogy whatsoever, and I've been wanting to watch it for the longest time because I kind of grew up more on Harry Potter, and I'm like obsessed with witchcraft. And... I haven't seen Harry Potter, so that's next. Yeah, exactly. So we're both kind of looking forward to the ridicule in the comments. Yep, we're both right filling each other's um, mystical enchanting sides in with this one. So we actually found this DVD at Walmart for five bucks, um, and we just kind of had to get it because we had the first one already, but we didn't have the second, and I needed to know what happened to the ring. Hello. <laughs> I think the last thing we do is brush our teeth, really, before we go to bed. Brush our teeth, get real nice and clean. Yep. Um, you wash your face with the Norwax towels. Mm -hmm. Yep, Norwax towels are amazing. I'll actually show you guys. I've showed it in older videos. Norwex towels. We're going to show it again in another essential video. Yeah, so. exactly. We'll share with you guys more soon. Um, but it's awesome. It only uses water, so I only wash my face with water. Works real well. Well, baby. <laughs> I thought you had like something <laughs> bad to say. Like, I shouldn't even say it. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of our night. Our nights are honestly very similar. To my what they were. My... Yeah, they're very similar to what they were before we lived in a bus, just when we were living in a thousand square feet apartment, um, doing the same same old same old routine. It's routine mm -hmm. pretty much, right? Yeah, pretty much, except for like the wood stove. Yeah. But other than that, feels pretty much the same um it's cozy it's definitely it's very cozy the, the really cool thing and we actually forgot to show you i'll show you real quick the um the radiant barriers once we put the insulating radiant barriers in then this place really seals up yeah. and it doesn't matter where you're parked you can be parked really anywhere and it, it feels exactly the same that's why Zana was saying the other day how much she loves it at night in the bus because yeah. It's, it feels exactly the same no matter where you are. You just close it up and it's your feels little like safe place. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Well, on that note, I think we're going to end it for today. We're yeah. ready to get back on the grind now. It's been a, it's been a fantastic couple of yep. days. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, also, head over to livingzeal.com. You can check out all of our eBooks, our merchandise. We have our guide to building your own bus conversion over there. Yeah. Uh, interactive, and we really are super proud of it. So also don't forget about our Patreon account. Um, we'll put that link in the description below. You guys all rock. We love you, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys.